What's going on guys? Welcome back to a, another Road to Glory video. Now, my initial thoughts, I opened it up, opened up the save and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get some players on a development plan. However, it turns out that every single player seems to only have like a year on the contract, less than a year now. Why? I've literally got more players. <laughs> wow, I've literally got more players ready to leave this year than it seems like I have other players and they're all like main team players as well it's not like we're just random players I can just let go so we are going to have to do a bit of work in terms of hopefully getting them to sign back on we've got barely any budget left though and I also want to start getting a bunch of these on a development plan right so we've had a good look and it turns out that we have got a couple of low knees here so Joseph Frizoon, Fr Boom Frizoon, who is our main right mid, uh, yeah he's on loan so this, I mean we could approach to buy but the age of 29 it just doesn't seem worth it, I would much rather probably use him this season than let him go quite happily, replace him with someone else. Then we've got George Hurst who was the young lad, if he goes, I will say this now, if he gets to 67, 68 OVR this season, or in, I'll say three months time, we'll give him six, seven games. If he doesn't start improving, then I'll happily let him go. I won't even approach to buy. But some players, Richard Wood, uh, Clark Robertson, Sean McDonald, and Price and Vassal, or, or Vassal, I've put them all up for sale. Most of them are quite old, but with the likes of Robertson and... Vassal, I would like to let him go, get about 2 million and bring in a proper good centre back there. And other than that, I think we're fine just for contracts. Everyone else has got a few years left on them. We managed to get Blackman. He's on £14,000 in wage, which is quite insane. But he looks like he's going to be probably the best player we're going to have in a season or so. I think now I'm just going to get a few of the more important players on development plans to really start trying to boost them and it does look like we have I mean we've got a couple of, of players out on loan for example this man is 28 64 OVR so in a pinch if we really do need players we can always recall them right so we've gone through pretty much everyone and we've put them all on some kind of development plan I'm hoping now from this let me find the youngsters my goal is, I still think Yong Yong or Yong Yong Lao, it's a great name, um, but that wasn't even sarcasm. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get him to 55 by the end of the season. I know it's a push, but I think I'm actually going to start playing him quite a lot. Jones as well, he seems low OVR, but he's 17, his sprint speed is amazing. Other than that, we've got a smattering of, of other sort of players in here, but nothing too crazy. Right, so I've had to actually play the, the training because it simulates it at the best grade you get it at. And because I hadn't actually played any, it was only simulating it at grade D. So no one was really getting any real sharpness. It was all like ones and twos. The extreme hot potato one was so annoying because none of the people can pass. So other than that though, we got perfect A's as high as you could get. And the sharpness now, I mean, I can see some are going up by like four some are going up by eight and that's exactly what we want because our sharpness wasn't great and from what i can tell the sharpness this year is all based around the fact that will i be able to play in the game at their utmost potential or not i think we're gonna have to do the same here so i'll be back in a second right so i did all the training off camera it's fucking boring we're into the next game and i think this is a team we're going to be putting out now Wood has to be bought in purely because our main man, however you pronounce that, is injured. We've also got Crooks injured. I think actually we're going to give Sherring a chance. If a young lad, I believe he's 20 years old, yeah, 20, we're going to have to give him a shot. He isn't the best, but hopefully he can impress us this game. We're going to have Longstaff as an attacking mid. I want to try, still three midfielders, but I want to try pushing up, get a bit more of an offence in there. We've obviously got Ladapo in strike, the main man. Overall, I think the team is looking pretty good to go up against Sheffield Wednesday. 
Alright, I am hoping we can not scrape a win. I would like a good win. I don't want to just win by by a goal this time. I want to really be getting a 1 or 2 nil win minimum. Hopefully more than that. Alright, we've got the ball back in midfield. We're holding play. We make a pass. That must be offside. Oh my god, it wasn't even offside! Long stab. Look, I'm happy with the movement, but that should have been buried. And the uh, the great pickle sauce there instructed him very clearly, but he isn't too happy. Alright, we've got the ball back. We can go up the wing. We're going to bring it back in. Long staff. Long staff! Wow! That, look, that makes up for the earlier goal. That was a heck of a shot right there. Let's look at that one again. What was that? Top corner finesse shot. Look at that. I mean, you can't get much more top corner than that, can you? That was really good. And that makes two goals in two games for Longstaff. That is uh, that's pretty good. He's definitely, definitely our best player. His movement just overall is so night and day compared to everyone else he just isn't stagnant he's he's always seems to be in the place you need him to be okay they've made a good bit of play what a save what a double save right there from Blackman that first shot was well that was a really good save look at that for a diving save and then the second shot was straight at him but the power that is what can really put a goalkeeper off Hopefully we're able to intercept this and they for some reason went for a shot. Oh, it was a corner. Right, are we able to, to hopefully stop this before it gets in the box and then try and make a quick and, and when I say quick I mean a, a medium speed sort of sprint outwards. It's fallen for him. And they absolutely fluffed it. it they should have taken another touch out of that down. I nearly messed that one up. I definitely messed that one up. I panicked. Oh no. Yep. That was awful play by me out the back. I don't know why I tried to do a rollover. I just thought it was. Well, I thought it would look nice. It fucking didn't. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, that was excellent from him. No, there we go. Half time. I don't think stats wise it was that bad they had more shots again more possession still getting used to the, the feel of the game it is it sounds like an excuse but it's really difficult when let's have a quick look I know pretty even possession they just had more more shots it's super difficult because I can play quite easily the highest difficulty if I had a team full of you know for example, if it was Tottenham with, with Son and, and all these high-paced players and Kane and there, he can shoot from pretty much anywhere. It'd be a breeze on the highest difficulty or, or it'd be, a, you know, two nil wins every game. But when it's on the lower difficulty, uh, on the high difficulty, sorry, with a lower rated team, it does become more of a challenge just because none of the players passing is too great. And that was a bad bit of play, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, that, that's the biggest issue. But I can almost guarantee that as we buy one or two more 70 or over 70 OVR players, our scoring is going to at least double. What a pass. What a pass at the start. That was, uh, that was an awful, awful cross in there, though. I don't know why it went so high. Can we maybe... Maybe see if we could pull a player out here and get a cheeky little spot here. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> no, that was uh, that was close though. It's signs, it's signs of of tearing him down, which is pretty good. Right, they are through here. I'm bringing the keeper out. Oh, that was lucky. Chip shots this year seem to be all over the place. Sometimes you get chipped from the halfway line. Sometimes you don't but that was a good bit of goalkeeping there that's nice and easy blocking that 
Let's try and get a couple of passes strung together. Okay, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. He's making a good bit of a run. What a awful pass. I wanted that simply squared off to the main man. I think it was Longstaff just to bury it in, but Ladapo seemed to want to. Well, he saw something out, something we all didn't. That was nice from Longstaff. Oh, he took the touch. Oh, we may be in trouble here. We may be in trouble. There is no one back. Oh, what a absolute save that was. Look at this. I tried to, to position myself. I just couldn't. And that was, yet again, Blackman has been our absolute player of the season so far. It's only been like three games, but... <gasps> Wow. <laughs> Look, if they was going to score a a goal to put them ahead. Okay, mate, you'd have to shout out fucking loud. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch that one back. Look at that. Can we get another angle? I mean, look at this. Off the chest, and it... He almost chips it. And it... Yeah, but, I mean, there's no saving that. Goalkeeper wasn't even tall enough to reach it. I think we are going to have to make one or two changes though. I think we're going to give Jones his debut purely for the speed. And I'm going to try, <laughs> as much as I kind of don't want to, I think actually I'm going to try this guy. And we'll put Jones as a, a right mid purely because of his pace. This guy in strike, he reckons he's a striker with his uh, 49 shooting stats there. So that's pretty good. Do we maybe, I don't know if we can, have we made all the subs yet? Right, that's who we're going for. Hopefully, Lau can impress here. But that, overall, that was a spectacular goal. But you can't take anything away from that. It's classic uh, FIFA AI. They won't put a single shot on target all game and then they'll come with a bicycle kick from, you know, 95 yards away and slot it in top corner. Okay, yeah, Lau is definitely a 49 OVR player. That was the worst touch I've ever seen. Lau? Oh, you fucking idiot. Lau, look at that pass from Longstaff. That should have been, honestly, that should have been so much better. Alright, let's uh, try crowding a key for here. Can we get it? No, we cannot. Come on, five minutes left, team. Don't let me down. Lau is on it again. Lau made an absolutely terrible bit of skill. I didn't realise his agility was only one. It felt like I was trying to use a fucking turtle. Right, Clark can hopefully bring it back up. We can pass it out. Come on! Yes! That is what we wanted. I mean, I doubt we can score the winner. I mean, look at them all. Let's go celebrate in the face. Look, how, look at them all. They've dropped dead, man. They've not lost the Champions League final. But that was that was good from Jones. Is that the new lad as well? I think it is. It was that pace. Look, he managed to get in there, took a touch, slotted it past nice and easy. And that is the equaliser. On his debut, first touch of the game, That is uh, that's nice. That was a good game though, I'm happy with the equaliser, they scored a pretty good wonder goal there and overall the team played really well. Let me check the stats real quick. Yeah, overall, look, we did bring it back. Possession pretty even, shot accuracy for us was terrible. Um, they did obviously have more shots, but overall that was really good. And is this dude that's going to talk to us here going to be speaking at the same noise level of a fucking... Bowen Jet. Let's wait and see. Oh yes, he is. I don't. Jesus questions. Christ. I don't know why it's always so loud. I literally can't change it. Um. Was that his debut? No, he's already had his debut. You idiot. These guys. These guys are a bit thick. <laughs> yeah. It's it's all the classic. Uh, 
classic questions, you rarely get a bad one, unless it comes up saying, you know, how was this guy's debut? Unless you turn around and go, oh, he's the worst player I've ever trained with and played with ever, he literally doesn't deserve a spot, then you're not going to get bad. Right, so there's a couple of things I want to look at. We've had an offer for Robertson, 26-year-old centre-back. I... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to let him go. I think he's the one I transfer listed. And I'm going to let him go purely because I want a young lad to be able to have time to develop. Um, we've had a bunch of scout reports back, so we can have a look at that. Not that we've got much in terms of, of everything, but I wanted to have a look at the overall objective. So, youth development, sign at least two players younger than 20 years old. Well, we've already done that one. Um, within two seasons, sign one youth player. Play him in 10 matches, as blah blah blah. That's fine. Brand exposure is low, so just get 7 clean sheets in home league matches. I'm pretty sure we could do that. There's uh, obviously very low because, well, we're not in any actual major competitions. Uh, finish mid table, we're currently 6th, so they're only expecting mid table, which is kind of what we're not hoping for. You know, we, we want to win. That is the goal, at the very least, a promotion to the Premier League. The FA Cup want us to reach a round of 32, which I'm hoping we can do. And then uh, within three seasons, gain automatic promotion. Hopefully, again, we can do that this season. And then financially, within two seasons, increase your club worth by 50% through player sales and competition prize money rewards. It's overall very doable. The highest thing is our domestic success, which I'm almost certain, as long as we can keep up our run of form, we could most likely get at least first or second in the league anyone have anything interesting to say I don't know why he's saying that because you know you're on my main left back the other thing I want to check was purely the youth academy so you start off with with four or five anyway now and these are the ones I kind of left with so we've got Ji Hu Jung or Jung who is a goalkeeper, 55 OVR now, but that's fine. It's going to be good, and I'm actually going to sign him now. Purely to be our backup goalkeeper from now. I mean, he's essentially free. He's 55 OVR already, can only improve at his age. A 16-year-old centre mid and centre defending mid, only 55 OVR. Not great, but again, I think we'll promote him to the main club just so we've got the depth of position and then we've got two 15 year olds here who hopefully can grow a little bit and you can put them on a development plan early that is new i think well let me can i put this lad on a development plan and try and grow his maybe his weak foot a little bit can we check the other lad as well we can his skill moves already five star that's pretty good let's try and improve his weak foot a little bit then and see if hopefully with that, maybe we can get him to 55 OVR and then we can hopefully sign him. And currently our actual scout is out. He's only 2 star, 2 star. Not great. I think the next thing we'll work on is getting a 5 star, 5 star to really start bringing in some proper youth talent. Finance wise, we're not doing great. I mean, we, we've got nothing. To put it simple, we've got literally nothing. We could... We could split it, but again, I mean, at this level, actually, saying that, most people can take under 15,000. So if we keep it at that, we've now got 2 million. We could only get one player, but I think maybe after we sell one or two more, try and get up to two, for maybe to a three or four million, and then buy a proper good centre-back. Because the rest of my squad, I am liking. I'm actually going to start putting Jones on more, because just using him in training as well... He's just so much better. Like, his agility is 82. You compare it to Ladapo, whose agility is 71. He's a lot slower. He just doesn't quite feel as good. I think, actually, I might even... I mean, what's his finishing? His finishing's not great. Ladapo's is. I'm going to have him on as my main striker, I think. He's only 59 OVR, but I think he could really bring something to the team. So, what I've done is I've put... Longstaff on a development plan to hopefully try and convert him into a proper centre attacking mid because I think that is his best position. He played really well that game. And I think Jones in front of him with the absolute blistering pace is really going to work out. 
The next game though is in the Carabao Cup and it's against Reading. I think I'm going to sim at 45 minutes and then we're going to hop in and I've realised I've just simmed it but yet again it replaces my injured centre mid with, with a right winger. I don't know why it does that. Why wouldn't you replace it with you know an actual centre mid? Hey, oh, we're going with it now. We've got Joseph Zoon on there, the the right mid, I believe, that was on loan. Hopefully, we can get something going here, though, because I well, look Carabao Cup. It's not the main priority for us, but to get a cup under us, I think would be good. And it's obviously another competition that can really try and help. And I think what I'm going to do in this, uh, we got a goal. I thought it was them. Well done, Jones. I mean, that's a pretty immediate impact, but I think what I'm going to do is each episode of this series, when we sim a game, I think I'll probably talk about, well, about various things. And this time, I really want to talk about this FIFA and one of the big kind of issues with this FIFA, and it's purely the pace. Now, they say each year that we've improved the dribbling, we've improved this, we've improved that, but the issues are that they don't actually improve it. So... For example, you know, two years ago you would have defenders like, you know, Phil Jones outpacing Lionel Messi just because of how the game worked. But now it's like the complete opposite. Is that another one? Jones again. But uh, yeah, this year it's like the complete opposite. It's no one. If you haven't got a centre back that's over 70 pace and you're going against, let's say, online players, I'll say Ultimate Team or just general online if your centre backs aren't over at least 70 75 pace you stand no chance I almost quit all my team at this point I only play squad battles because playing division rivals is honestly the most infuriating thing you can possibly do at the minute it's it's just not worth it I constantly feel like I've got 99 pace players absolutely doing me in and there is nothing I can do about it and that isn't a thing based on my skill personally either that is a thing based on the way the game works you know if you've got high agility high sprint speed high acceleration whatever you are going to score goals and to put it like this I was playing with Raul Jimenez in strike my ultimate team I didn't pay any chemistry on I just wanted to, to check him out he's only got like 78 pace he scored like two goals in in like five or six games I then put a chem style on him that got him up to like 88 pace and acceleration whatever he suddenly started putting in three times as many goals it's pretty insane look I'm gonna actually just continue and resume this because it looks like we're doing pretty well but yeah it it's annoying the pace I feel needs to be sorted it, it makes sense don't get me wrong see in real life players like Adam Traore absolutely blister down one side of a pitch and beat defenders that makes sense but when it can be simply abused by double tapping your trigger button to get that pace boost it doesn't sit well for me I just think that's not what FIFA should be and even going back to FIFA 9 FIFA 9 you could go back and play now and yes it feels a little bit weird to play but it overall is such a better game experience yes there are things like finesse shots you can take from halfway line and they go in but if you kind of ignore the the old school style of things it just feels a much better game and I really wish EA would listen like yeah they listen there's some really cool manager mode changes here for example the development plans and this this sim thing right here this wasn't possible before this is like a proper you know this is what Pez has been doing for a while now but um, yeah I just think and I hope they would listen and PS5 Xbox series whatever they want to call it nowadays I really hope they can make the most of that next gen and for FIFA 22 make a proper PES contender because at the minute if someone asked me would you prefer PES or FIFA it would be PES and I would say PES mainly because it is just a better gaming experience and it's a more football centric experience but FIFA obviously has the license so everyone always enjoys FIFA I think what I'm going to do I'm going to hop in we'll make a quick sub and then I'll hop in for this last 15 minutes. That's my little rant over. Look, Jones has been great. I don't want to actually take Jones off. I'm going to keep Jones on. Hopefully he can get a hat trick. Lau or Leo, Liao, however you pronounce that. I'm going to bring on. I'm going to bring the new youth talent on. Four star, four star to start off with. Not bad. And then I think we'll swap right back to try and get a bit of pace. 
back, getting a bit of energy back. Try and get something going there. And like I say, for the last 15 minutes, can we do anything? All right, so the subs now get to come on. You get four minutes. Ain't too bad. But yeah, they've had uh, a good amount of possession, but no actual threats here. Oh God, saying that, you know, I've jinxed, haven't I? I've absolutely jinxed it. Oh no, we got it back. We're cool. We're cool. It's passes like that that infuriate me, though. And that's it. That's the game overall. Our team did pretty excellent. I mean, two goals. I'm going to skip the post-match thing till I can try to figure out that volume because that is very frustrating. But that, I mean, we're still unbeaten. Can we go and beat in all season? I, I'm not sure. Obviously, it's Carabao Cup, but that's a great start. And the money as well that you get would be a great, great help. Right, and the last game of this episode, we are against Millwall. I'm going to quickly replace that. You know what? I'm going to give... I'll give Lindsay a chance. I will, I think, pair in there... Faria or Faria, however that's pronounced. Longstaff is still working on becoming an attacking mid. Jones on again because of his his pace. And he scored two goals last game. Wood off, and I'm going to put Shering on. Give him a a bit of a game. I think we are going to be putting on instead of Harding, we'll bring on the the young lad and play him in left back instead instead of Clark. And I think overall, I'm pretty happy with that and our reserves were looking a lot better when we started there was only two reserves I mean it was on the limit of not being able to actually play games I will bring on Lau again I've actually been really impressed with him he's played pretty well his stats are terrible I'm not gonna lie but he's actually played really good and I think because we we looked pretty comfortable last time we're gonna sim the first we'll say 45 minutes but as soon as they score a goal if they score a goal within five minutes then we will we will be hopping on and, uh, well, controlling the game. Right, overall, this first 45 minutes, that's been pretty pretty even until the last 10 minutes. We were pretty much in possession, and our player, Sadlier, or Sadlier, has been immense. Obviously, we haven't actually seen him, but he has just been walking around the place, putting in passes everywhere. I mean, who is his this man here he has been really really good this game overall i think i will probably get one of our young lads on and we're going to keep sadly air on and i'm going to put this man up here is sadly air a right mid he can play right mid just because now i feel like we've been so bad if i put him in an uncomfortable position it's not going to be great and what's this man's problem what he seriously goes minus 10 because he can't go slightly more defensive I wouldn't see why that would be a big issue you know you're a centre mid just play slightly deeper nah you know what he'll get used to it I think I'm going to jump in here though purely because of well, how risky I think it is they could score a 90th minute winner and we wouldn't be able to do much about that it's crap but yeah, sadly, yeah. I don't know what it is about his game, but I mean, I turned to him and he was just dribbling past everyone. I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, look at that! Okay, I don't know how that wasn't a advantage. What are you doing a spin for? What the fuck? It's pretty comfortable, though. They are obviously, you know, trying, but it's easily intercepted I can easily tell where we're gonna go that is a good pass can we knock it back and then do that do that do that you fucking idiot who was that Lindsay no I ain't having it mate I ain't having it you're in a position like that all you had to do was gently pass the ball to him but no he felt like he had to do more I don't care you're off mate he felt like oh. all he had to do was literally just tap the ball but no you messed it up didn't you Lindsay guess he's getting sold next that's all I'm saying you know I, I literally control you I literally own you I will literally sell you if you do stupid shit back on the ball 
He's back on the ball again. He's making a good run. And uh, he passed five minutes after I asked him to, so that's always good. GG, good pass. We've still got the ball, though. Surely that was some kind of fat Everton fouls off this game. What's going on? But it's not looking good. I don't want to do a draw. It's better than a loss, but... Well, obviously, it's not as good as a win. Every time we have the ball, it does look pretty promising. Again, what a pass. Can we do anything with this? Please, please pass the ball. Please, ah oh man. Their passes aren't any better. But, oh fucking hell! Come on, don't mess this up. Let's give that there and get get it out. What are you doing? Jesus! I swear, if they put in a 90-minute winner, fuck! You know whose fault that was? That was fucking. What's his name? Mr. McDonald or whatever is. Oh, I don't even know his fucking name. It was his fault though, for being in midfield, because he fucked that pass up, he's ruined it, he's ruined the game, and it's so annoying because, sadly, or sadly, he's played immense this game, and the fact that I'm going to lose now in the fucking last second, oh, stop trying to do back heels, you prick. Oh, here we go, here we go, ready, I won't shoot from there, you idiot. Fucking hell, blind turtle with no legs could have done better. Alright, come on. Oh, hang on, I see someone up there. Oh, of course, it's not, uh. Yeah, it's not Kevin De Bruyne I've got, it's fucking. Kevin De. De Bumder. Oh! Right, I'm actually pissed because for the last two minutes they were just passing between themselves. Yeah, I'm not playing online. Don't do shit like that. Man, oh man, not happy with that, really not happy with that. Because even though we didn't exactly have many shots, we was in dangerous positions a heck of a lot there. We should have made more of it. What does that put us? Oh, it puts us a nice 13th. Jesus Christ. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. I'm uh, I'm officially sick of, uh, of looking at Rotherham Town, so... <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will. I'll catch you next time.